this road always gets me right in the camera. One of the most scenic downhill turny sections and I'm just I'm I'm uh, two and a half, two hundred and forty minutes into this and forty five miles and I'm pretty well exhausted but I just saw across in front of me about twenty or so deer just came up and over and then more came up as I came down the road and uh, my camera wouldn't turn back on oh well such is the life of a moto vlogger I may have to plan B my campsite. I'm still 50 or so miles away. And it's about 525. But my brain keeps saying, but there's more curves. There's more curves. And I'm just getting physically worn out. I did work uh, what would be considered almost a full day for most people. Put in a good six. My day started at 3.05 a.m. And 60 miles of the most beautiful curves on a road you could ever find have wore me out but I'm still still having fun elk elk They're turning back. I don't want to freak them out. I hope you saw them. I saw a wolf. is right there that's a freaking wolf do you see him mm -hmm. 
See him running? It's right there. No kidding. First wolf I've seen in Arizona in almost 20 years. Well, we're heading into the village of Alpine. Which has a 30 mile an hour speed limit. Well, we fueled up, back on our way. Still no GPS. Super pretty area up here. So my silly camera was playing tricks on me, and um, I just passed by a bunch of these buttes, and these cliffs. They're just awesome at this time of night. Sorry I'm not riding, but uh, I had to stop and uh, fix my camera. Not too far from camp. I think this might be the camp road. Sure would be nice. Look at that. Beautiful little canyon here. I'm going to do some ciphering. So this is the camp road. And Google Earth showed some fire rings but uh, sometimes that can be a little deceiving. There's one right there. There's a fence up there. That's This is looking pretty pretty inviting. We'll get camp set up and uh, check back in with you guys. Well, I haven't uh, set up camp. I'm kind of uh, messing around anyway. I just noticed how, how beautiful 
this little canyon is, and I want to uh, thank Mr. Uh, Arizona RE uh, for picking the spot, even though he could not uh, make it out here. Uh, we did see some fire rings, but I don't think I'm going to do a fire uh, because there's a lot of dry grass here. Um, and these fire rings uh, look like they haven't been used in a while. But uh, very, very picturesque. All right, back to work. So uh, I apologize, but uh, it was a really pretty sunset. Uh, but I was busy trying to get some shelter uh, before it gets too cold because it's going to go down into the 30s tonight, upper 30s, which <clears throat> big deal, but um, it's going to be awful cold for me. Um, got the camp set up. Tent, new kitty tent. The old kitty tent uh, failed. If uh, you've been a watch watcher of my videos, um, I had to throw it away on. <laughs> back in my last trip so another 1995 this one's actually longer so that's not too bad got a lot of dinner set up to cook and uh, I won't bore you with another um, silly uh, camp setup uh, eating dinner kind of thing um, I'm just gonna sign off for tonight and we will catch you in the a.m. Well, we had a pretty restful night. Um, wasn't no fancy Super 8, but uh, can get uh, can get views like this at a Super 8. Well, I'm gonna make some breakfast and pack up camp and uh, get back on the road. All right, we're packed up. Hopefully everything's strapped down. We're gonna head back out on the highway. Well, that was Highway 191, Route 666, Devil's Highway, Highway of the Beast, Coronado Trail, whatever you choose. I hope the deals gap folks uh, sure don't uh, mind my uh, having a little fun with them. I appreciate you watching my videos. Thank you for taking your time to check them out. I appreciate you watching. Please comment, subscribe, like, and share. Adios.